Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we've got a Lord of the Rings special. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right, welcome back. Um, as I said, Today's a bit of a Lord of the Rings special. If you've watched these videos before, you know I'm a massive Lord of the Rings fan stroke nerd. Love it. Um, these prints, there's three of them here, scale over four years, but you've not seen some of them before. So, first off, we've got Narsil, Aragorn's sword. Now, I did this about four years ago when I was testing out a Delta printer. Now, I did use this because it's in like six sections. I printed them standing upright to test the delta. Um, the print quality is okay. Um, it's not particularly well joined together. Like the joins ain't that well filled. Um, and I'm okay with that. It hangs on my wall in my workshop. To be honest, it never even, it had been chromed, but it never even had the handle painted. I painted the handle yesterday because um, I knew I was doing this video today. So, you know, it's, I like it because it's Lord of the Rings, but it's not, it's not, you know, anything amazing. Then about two years ago, did Sting. Um, and this was to test out another printer. You might have seen on our previous videos, nearly a couple of years ago, we tested the Gufu Mido. Um, this was printed on the Gufu Mido um, as a test, basically. It's okay, it's got layer lines in it. Um, the etching on the blade is not as pronounced as perhaps it should be. But then, you know, it's, it's had a coat of filler primer, a couple of coats of chrome, so, you know, it's it's filled them in a bit. It's not perfect, but again, it hangs on the wall next to this one. It's Lord of the Rings, that means it's cool. You know, they are what they are. They were tests for printers. But this week, finish this. Now, this is Aima's helmet from Lord of the Rings. Aima is the character who's played by Carl Urban. We might know him from the Amazon program, The Boys. Um, so this was printed in one piece, exactly like it sits there. Um, I seem to think it took around 60 hours, 60, 70 hours, something like that. I printed on a 0.2 layer height. It did have a couple of problems. This was printed on the longer LK5 that we reviewed a few weeks ago. Printed absolutely fine up until it got to about here. Then, for some random reason, the filament sensor just kept triggering. And every time it re I restarted it, if it's not backing exactly point millimeter perfect, you will get a line, which is what appeared here. I sanded most of the mat, got bored, and stopped. So, when the close up, you'll see there is some faint line on the front. This was also all painted in rub and buff. This is pewter, Grecian gold, and antique gold. And then just around the back here, you'll see where it's leather work. That was airbrushed. Um, the towel I um, got from eBay. It's a fake horse towel. It's what you use for rocking horses, and things like that. So when I finished this, I was very proud of it. I put it on fits perfect. I went into my wife to show her and what she said was both rude and very, very cruel. Cutting. She does not view my 3D printing in the, uh, the same way as I do. A low level uninterest is probably the best way to describe how she feels about my printing. Um, Nevertheless, I did still walk around the house in it for about an hour. I knew I looked cool, whatever she said. Now, the STLs for these, someone is probably gonna put in the comments, where did you get them from? And short answer long, it's, we have no idea. 
Narsil was done like four years ago, maybe five. Um, and I think I got it off CG Trader. If you go on CG Trader now and you put in Lord of the Rings Saws, there's actually loads on there. And better quality STLs than this one here. Um, so I would highly suggest if you want to do one, you go and look there for them. Sting, we think, was from Thingiverse. Again, that was a couple of years ago. I think got that file from Thingiverse. Now, AMS Helmet, for all that's holy, we cannot remember where we got this file from. We have tried finding it, and we cannot find it. Maybe it's been taken down by the person who designed it. We don't know, but we cannot find where this come from. I, I think it was probably CG Trader. Um, it may pop back up. I don't know, but we couldn't find it when we searched for it. Um, it is a nice, it is a nice helmet. It's, it's a basic design. You know, it's, it's not. It is what it is. Um, you know, there's only photos so far you can make a higher design. You can make this a detailed because it's following an actual helmet. You know, um, but the horse, the the hair on it, that was eBay, as I said. I think it was about twenty three pound. So you know, not the end of the world. Now, um, let's cut to some close ups. Right, so as you can see, the print quality on the swords, it's not the best in the world. I know that. They were tests on printers as we were tuning. You know, and to be honest, this helmet was a test on the LK5. Um, we reviewed the LK5, got it back home. I printed a few bits of the base that you see on Loki, the Loki statue from one of the last videos. And then I wanted to put it to the test to do something bigger. So this is what I put on it to see how it would handle a long print. And it did well apart from the filament sensor. Um, I've since removed the filament sensor, just put a piece of filament in it. It's now printing something new that I've started. Um, the first part of this model, it's on, as of this morning, 106 hours, and it's like 75% done. And there's 12 pieces to this as well. So... It's not going to be quick. <clears throat> We've been doing a bit of sort of cosplay and pop stuff recently because in about three weeks' time, I think it's the 12th and 13th of June, we are going to um, Southend Cosprint on Sea. It's been organised by a local 3D printing shop, 3D filer print. Um, and we are going to be displaying now. So coming soon, you'll see. Done a full-size Boba Fett armour. Um, so we've been doing a bit more sort of cosplay stuff because we're going to be showing there. If you can't make it there, don't worry. We're going to be filming it while we're there. We'll be filming our stand and some of the other stands. And there's going to be a lot of cosplay. There's a lot of Star Wars groups coming. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be good, and it looks like it's going to be busy. More's the point. So don't worry. We will be filming. 
and you will get to see it if you can't make it. Don't forget to check out some of our older videos. We've got some amazing stuff coming up. We've got a new sponsor for the channel we are really super excited about. That will be revealed very, very soon. But until then, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.